Hey everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Reader Teacher. My name's Scott. It's October the 1st, so in this video of episode 10, series 3 of Coming Soon, I'll be previewing my most anticipated children's books releases coming out this month for October 2023. I'll be going through them in release date order and alphabetically by title, and if you just want to hear about a specific book, then make sure to use the timestamps in the description below. Don't forget to leave me a like, hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I release a new video, and all the links to the books that I mention in this video will also be in the description box below. So let's take a look at the books. Join Selim, his mama, and their faithful donkey in Under the Red Shawl by Vicky Connolly and Martina Heydukzak out on the 1st of October as they set off on an exciting new adventure in an unfamiliar land. Moving to a new place can be a bit daunting, but this heartwarming tale beautifully shows us that with friendship and kindness, every challenge can turn into an exciting opportunity. And through the eyes of Selim, we learn the power of imagination and the joy of creating fun with whatever we have. As they explore their new world, we witness the magic that unfolds when we embrace hope and open our hearts to new experiences. Thanks New Frontier Publishing for the finished copy. In Beneath by Corey Dorfelt, out on the 5th of October, we follow Finn and Grandpa on a hiking adventure through a mesmerising forest. Amidst the tall trees and serene waters teeming with life, Finn begins to realise that appearances can be deceiving, just like the intricate roots hidden beneath the surface. As they encounter fellow hikers, Finn discovers that everyone carries their own hidden feelings and stories, much like the undiscovered depths of a tranquil pond or the hidden nests of expectant birds. And Grandpa imparts a beautiful lesson, that beneath the exterior of someone seemingly distant, there may lie a world of shared emotions and understanding. And big thanks Scallywag Press for the gorgeous finished copy. Faison's longing for her beloved island is finally fulfilled when she rejoins the spirited Die Island crew in the case of the Haunted Wardrobe, the second book in this mystery series by Corrine Gettin, out on the 5th of October. However, her reunion is anything but peaceful as she is immediately thrust into a bone-chilling case a wardrobe that emanates spine-tingling sounds. And if that wasn't enough, each crew member receives an ominous letter, threatening to expose their deepest secrets. And with time ticken away, Faison must take charge of the detective agency, rallying her friends to solve this eerie enigma. But as tensions escalate and friendship quarrels threaten to tear them apart, can they put their differences aside and work together to crack the case, whilst safeguarding their well-hidden secrets? Thanks Pushkin Press for the finished copy. Dexter, The Amazing School Dog by Lucy Plunkett and Sean Bowman out on the 5th of October introduces us to a very special school dog. Whether it's the first day of school or a day of learning outdoors, Dexter has a natural gift of making every child he encounters feel calm and happy. Follow a year in the life of this lovable dog as he accompanies the children spreading cheer and bringing smiles to all. From classroom giggles to playground games, he's there to offer comfort and companionship, embracing each child for who they are. And when the school play arrives and nerves are on the rise, Dexter's calming presence is just what everyone needs to shine on stage. With a wag of his tail and a friendly nuzzle, Dexter helps them navigate challenges big and small. Thanks Outlet Press for the finished copy. When a boy stumbles upon a second-hand shop one ordinary day in the dress in the window by Robert Tregonin and Pippa Koenig out on the 5th of October, he can't believe what he sees. There, he lays eyes on a dress like no other. It's a dress that sparkles, shimmers and dazzles in the most enchanting shade of red. And for the boy it's love at first sight, and he knows he must make it his own. But there's a catch. How can he do this if he has no money? His mum suggests a brilliant idea, to earn it by doing odd jobs. And the excitement builds as he sets off on a journey to save up. But what if someone else snatches the dress away before he can? Thanks Oxford Children's Books for the finished copy. In Girls by Annette Schapp, translated by Laura Watkinson, out on the 5th of October, Get ready to go on adventures alongside determined girls who are rewriting the rules of classic tales. Meet a young girl who chooses her own path and decides not to wait for a prince's kiss. And discover a brave heroine who faces the not-so-big bad wolf, proving that courage knows no bounds. And join a monstrous princess yearning for freedom on a deserted island, ready to break free and embrace her destiny. And these tales are a celebration of today's world, where girls are the authors of their own stories, dreamers with unbreakable spirit. And no damsels in distress that need rescuing here. And these are real young women made of flesh and blood, showcasing strength, resilience and dreams that inspire us all. Thanks Pushkin Press for the finished copy. Imagine being able to talk, not to, but with animals. Well, How to Chat Chicken, Gossip Gorilla, Babble Bee, 
Gab Gecko and talked in 66 Other Animal Languages by Dr. Nick Crumpton and Adrian Bauman out on the 5th of October does exactly that. And by acting as our trusty translator and guide, this book will take you on an adventure to reveal the fascinating world of animal communication. From insects to birds, reptiles to mammals and amphibians, they all have their unique ways of expressing themselves, creating the natural orchestra that is life on Earth. So get ready to walk on the wild side and talk with the animals like never before, where every chirp, growl and song has a story to tell. Big thanks, What on Earth Books, for the finished copy. From the fearsome chimera of ancient Greece, with its three heads, to the peaceful Navangunjara of India and the awe-inspiring dragons that have captured hearts across Europe and East Asia, Legendary Creatures by Adam Auerbach, out on the 5th of October, brings together these wonders. Beautifully illustrated, it takes you on a journey around the globe, captivating your imagination and sparking curiosity about the world's rich tapestry of folklore. Thanks Pushkin Press for the stunning finished copy. Lil is a young girl facing a life of drudgery at the Squawkin Mackerel Inn in The Legend of Ghastly Jack Crowheart by Loretta Shower, where she's stuck with the messiest, nastiest jobs and is teased by everyone around. Her only friend is the mischievous crow, Augustus Scratchy, who has a penchant for pilfering. But when the menacing villain Rotten Bob Hatcher and his gang of ruthless highwaymen threaten travellers on the road, Lil's world becomes even grimmer. With the help of a new friend, Ned, and a peculiar assortment of items from the inn's lost property cupboard, including revolting dumplings and a knicker elastic, Lil hatches a plan to outwit Rotten Bob, and so the legend of Gassy Jack Crowheart, the demon highwayman, is born. Thanks Anderson Press for the finished copy that's out on the 5th of October. Also out on the 5th of October is Luna by Chris Bradford and Charlotte Grange, in which we find Luna, a young adventurer who calls the moon her home, helping her father, a moon miner, in their quest for precious minerals and rocks. Their lunar life is a delight, but everything changes when a meteor strike shatters their base leaving Luna stranded and alone on the moon's desolate surface. With no shelter and limited supplies, she faces a daunting challenge, survival. Imagine being millions of kilometres away from help, with oxygen depleting rapidly. Luna's journey is a race against time and the vastness of space. How will she conquer this lunar obstacle and find her way back home? Thanks Barrington Stoke for the finished copy. Families come in all shapes, sizes and colours, and there's no one size fits all when it comes to what makes fun. In My Family, Your Family by Laura Henry Elaine, MBE and Giovanna Medeiros out on the 5th of October, we dive into the heart of what family truly means. And this book is a joyful exploration of how different families come together, highlighting that each is wonderfully unique. It also encourages meaningful conversations about belonging and offers such an approachable way to explore the many facets of family life. So whether yours is big or small, traditional or unconventional, this book will remind us that love and connection are what truly matter. Big thanks Ladybird Books for the finished copy. In the quiet town of Cromarsh, Buzz and Mari, two friends, long for adventure. But little do they know that their wish is about to come true, in the most enchanting way, in The Myth Keeper by Jasmine Richards, out on the 5th of October, the sequel to The Unmorrow Curse. And this is because mythical gods have descended upon their town, and things are about to get incredibly interesting. These gods, not just ordinary people, are on a mission to kidnap Buzz's best friend, Sam, whose newfound power holds the key to granting their wishes. And it's up to Buzz and Mari to embark on a perilous adventure, seeking the legendary Keeper of the Myths. Only the Keeper possesses the strength to aid them in saving Sam, unlocking their own powers and sending the gods back to their realms before it's too late. Thanks you Clan Publishing for the finished copy. In a faraway forest, The Panda's Child by Jackie Morris and Kathy Fisher tells the story of a baby who is lost and then found, cradled and protected by a gentle sheep panda. As the years pass, a deep bond forms between the panda and the child, a connection that transcends words and time. Nine years later, a new baby, the panda's child, is in great danger, and the forest's very spirit is stirred. It's up to a brave boy and the guardian spirit of the forest to set off on a magical journey, facing challenges and uncovering secrets that will change their lives forever. Big thanks all to Barry Bucks for the beautiful finished copy that's out on the 5th of October. Enter the magical kingdom of Bathalzar in the Republic of Dreams by Richard Lambert, out on the 5th of October, where some children possess the amazing ability to shape dreams and reality. But with great power comes great responsibility, as meddling with the world can lead to disastrous consequences. Crown Princess Tamurlane is about to be queen, yet a sinister plot by the power-hungry Maladane threatens her life. Toby, her friend from our world, steps up to help. Together with their loyal allies, Anon, a half-angel, Burston, a school friend, and Jinky, an orphan and refugee, 
they face a battle against the corrupt forces. Trust is scarce in this perilous land. Will Toby and Tamerlane be able to triumph in this epic battle for good? Thanks everything with words, for the finished copy. Have you ever noticed that some words can make you feel a little down? Well, Susie Dent sure did, and she went on a marvellous quest to find the most delightful and uplifting words out there. In Roots of Happiness, out on the 5th of October, Susie shares her treasure trove of 100 positive words and phrases. From Mubble Fubbles, a slightly sad mood, to Giggle Mug, someone who never stops smiling, these fantastic words will have you grinning from ear to ear and feeling full blissed, that's extremely happy, in no time. Accompanied by beautiful illustrations by Harriet Hobday, this collection is like a burst of sunshine for your vocabulary. It'll inspire you to embrace the beauty of language and spread happiness everywhere you go. Thanks Puffin Bucks for the finished copy. Sai is a child with a heart full of wonder and a love for his Amar Saris in Sai's Magic Silk by Shaila Smith and Yani Balakuma out on the 5th of October. These magical garments hold secrets and stories waiting to be discovered. With every billowing drape of silk, Sai is whisked away to extraordinary new worlds. From the mysterious depths of the ocean to the lush forests of Sinharaja and even a voyage to the moon, Sai's imagination knows no bounds. But as Sai explores these enchanting realms, he longs for a companion to share his incredible adventures with. Can he find someone to join him on these journeys? Thanks Tate Publishing for the finished copy. In Salat in Secret by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow and Hatem Ali out on the 5th of October, Meet Mohammed, a young boy on the cusp of an important milestone, his seventh birthday. And on this special day, his father presents him with his very own Salat rug, a symbol of faith and tradition. Mohammed is eager to set out on his Salat journey, but there is a cloud of apprehension that hangs over him. You see, he is more comfortable praying in secret, away from the curious eyes of others. He's also witnessed his dad facing prejudice and judgment when he prays in public. And it's a fear that lingers long in his heart. And this beautiful story explores Muhammad's struggle to find the bravery within himself to embrace his Salat practice openly. It's a universal tale of self-acceptance and the courage to celebrate one's beliefs and cultural traditions too. Thanks Anderson Press for the finished copy. Soft and Sticky are the oddest and best of friends in Soft and Sticky by Jean Willis and Claire Powell out on the 5th of October. Soft with his fluffy nature and Sticky who sticks like glue may have their differences but their friendship is one that binds them together in more ways than one. However, even the closest of friends can have moments of frustration, especially when Soft's fluff gets up Sticky's nose. One day after a heated argument, they decide to part ways, thinking life would be better without each other. But as they venture into the world on their own, they soon discover that life isn't as sweet without their dear friend by their side. Thanks Anderson Press for the finished copy. The Taming of the Cat by Helen Cooper out on the 5th of October tells the tale of Bree, a clever little mouse who finds himself in a bit of a predicament, caught in the clutches of Gorgonzola the cat. With his life hanging by a thread, Bree begins weaving a story for Gorgonzola, hoping to delay his inevitable fate. But the tale unfolds filled with runaway princesses, shape-shifting cats, enchanted feasts, vanishing caverns and a quest to find a magical herb. As Bree's story takes centre stage, Gorgonzola's hunger grows, and the stakes are higher than ever. And this must be the most captivating story Bree has ever told if he hopes to escape with his life. Thanks Faber for the gorgeous hardback finished copy. Bess has always adored her grandfather's fascinating collection of curiosities in The Train of Dark Wonders by Alex Bell and Beatrice Castro. When handed the keys to his auditorium, she knows she must find a way to keep the wonder alive and attract visitors. One day a mysterious train destined for the land of Halloween sweets arrives. Excited for an adventure, Bess sneaks aboard and discovers a lively group of companions, Bo the puppeteer, Louis the violinist and Maria the fire witch. Together they set off on a quest to find the rarest sweet of all, the ghostly gobstopper. But this sugary land is not as sweet as it seems, because it's ruled by the fearsome candy maker. Thanks Rock the Boat for the finished copy that's out on the 5th of October, in readiness for Halloween. In a land not too far away lay this sprawling expanse of the wild, a place teeming with life, from the tiniest insects to the grandest humans. At first everyone lived harmoniously, taking only what they needed from this generous and abundant land. However, as time went on, people began taking more than their share, and the wild began to suffer. It was clear that for the wild to thrive once more, someone needed to be courageous enough to speak up and protect it. In this book that's out on the 5th of October, Yuval Zoma weaves a modern fable, a poetic reminder that our environment needs us, just as we need it. 
In the wild is a story that touches the heart and inspires us to stand up for our planet, to cherish and protect the wondrous world we call home. So thanks Oxford Children's Books for sending me a finished copy. On the 12th of October, step into a world in Animal Tales from India by Nikita Gill and Chaya Prabhat, where animals teach us invaluable life lessons through the enchanted tales of the Panchachantra. And these timeless stories have been passed down from generation to generation, touching hearts and minds with their wisdom and charm. You'll meet a diverse array of characters, from mighty elephants to courageous mice, cunning crocodiles to clever monkeys. And each tale unfolds with warmth and wit, offering lessons in courage, friendship and speaking up for what's right. Thanks Nosy Crow for the finished copy. Big School Best Friends Forever by Lisa Williamson and Jess Bradley is the first book in a new series out on the 12th of October in which you'll meet a bunch of ordinary kids just like you, but they each have their own extraordinary stories to share. And this one introduces us to Lola and her best friend as they set out on the exciting transition from primary to secondary school. And Lola's story is one that many can relate to, the nervousness and excitement of stepping into a new chapter of life. And join her as she faces the ups and downs of this big change, navigates new challenges and cherishes the bond she shares with her best friend. Thanks Guppy Books for the finished copy. Pack your bags and travel through a range of cultures, traditions and celebrations in Celebrate by Laura Mucha and Hannah Tolston out on the 12th of October. From colourful and familiar festivals to exciting surprises, each page is a portal to a world of sensational celebrations. Picture yourself dancing in the streets of Rio during Carnival, experiencing the vibrant Lantern Festival in Taiwan, or marvelling at the beautiful Diwali lights in India. And these festivals bring people together, offering a glimpse into the heart and soul of diverse cultures. Thanks Nosy Crow for the finished copy. Be amazed by the wonders of nature and human innovation with The Firefly's Light, The Secret Inventors of Our Natural World by Sarah Horn, out on the 12th of October. As you flip through the pages of this book, you'll take off on a journey of discovery filled with gorgeous illustrations and incredible stories. And dive into the mysteries of how designers, engineers and scientists have looked to the natural world for solutions to everyday problems. From the brilliant minds behind Firefly-inspired lighting to plant seed-inspired innovations, you'll witness the incredible ways nature has influenced human creations. And this non-fiction adventure is not just informative, it's also a celebration of the ingenuity inspired by our environment. Thanks Scholastic for the finished copy. Immerse yourself in the celebrations of Notting Hill Carnival in Man Man and the Tree of Memories by Yabba Bedo and Joel Avellino out on the 12th of October, where Man Man, a young boy, dances through the vibrant streets with a heavy heart for his ailing mother. And during the celebration, he seeks the magical intervention of the ancient Queen of Revels. Joined by best friend Kareem and sharp-tongued sister Panama, Man Man is transported to a realm between worlds in which the Queen of Revels unveils his family heritage, connecting him to Africa's past. Around the sacred tree of memories, they witness the pain of countless enslaved ancestors, stirring Man Man to reclaim their denied freedom. Thanks Zephyr for the finished copy. Welcome to the mysterious town of Barrow, a place with peculiar birds, eerie floods and the legendary Barrow Bogwitch, in the Midnight Switch by Samuel J. Halpin out on the 12th of October. At first, Lewis doesn't pay much attention to the tales surrounding the infamous Bog Witch, but strange happenings at midnight soon make him a believer. As stranger events unfold, Lewis and his newfound friend Moira realise they're in grave danger. To save their town and loved ones, they must unravel ancient secrets and follow mysterious clues to break the curse. But beware, for the Bog Witch is stirring once more, her watchful eyes keeping a close eye on every move. Thanks Osborne for the finished copy. When humans set foot on Somewhere 513, they uncover an unexpected twist. The very robots sent to prepare the planet for humanity's arrival have claimed it for themselves. Only one robot, K1NG, remains loyal, earning the title King of the Robots. However, despite having the most powerful robot on their side, the outlawed humans find themselves facing insurmountable odds. Fast forward 10 years and Nat and her sister Paige are the last remaining humans living in hiding underground in Scrap by Guy Bass and Alessia Trumfio. Now they must set off on a daring quest to seek the one robot that once stood by humanity. But there's a catch. K1NG, once mighty and loyal, has sworn never to aid another human for the rest of his existence. Thanks Little Tiger for the finished copy that's out on the 12th of October. You've heard of legendary figures like Thor, Medusa and Hercules, but have you ever explored the myths of the British landscape? Uncover these hidden tales of heroes wrestling giants, Sisters finding refuge on these very lands, dragons slumbering in hollow hills and kings communicating with the departed in Storyland by Amy Jeffs out on the 12th of October. 
It takes readers on a magical journey across Britain's diverse landscapes, from the northern reaches of Orkney to the southern beauty of Cornwall. Your build Stonehenge alongside the young Merlin, chase hams through the Welsh mountains, ride stags in the Scottish forests, and sail with Trojans along stretches of British rivers. Each adventure uncovers a land steeped in myth, monsters and heroes. With beautiful illustrations, this is an invitation to dive into a world where magic and adventure await at every turn. Thanks Hatchet for the finished copy. Calling all young explorers. Get ready to crack the code in the treasure hunt by Lisa Stewart Sharp and Gordy Wright out on the 12th of October. Flip the pages and step into a world of lost gold, sunken cities, missing kings and mammoth bones. Traverse the globe following a trail of intriguing clues and read about heart-stopping true stories of treasure, lost, stolen and rediscovered. Have you ever wondered about the whereabouts of Queen Nefertiti's mummy? And can the Titanic's treasures be saved from the waves? And could you be the one to stumble upon a Viking horde with a metal detector? Embrace the spirit of a true treasure hunter and uncover which artist's work has been stolen over 80 times and where you can excavate the tooth of a T-Rex. Prepare to solve the mysteries and become a treasure hunting hero. Thanks Hatchet for the finished coffee. In We Went to Find a Woolly Mammoth by Catherine Cawthorn and Aisha Awad out on the 12th of October, we set out to find the woolly mammoth in the Ice Age. But guess what? It's playing the ultimate game of hide and seek. We explore the frozen landscapes, but instead of the mammoth, we encounter hairy rhinos, spotty saber-toothed cats, and even a giant armadillo. Each creature is more peculiar than the last, making us wonder where that mammoth is hiding. And this hilarious and informative picture book is full of surprises and laughter, with quirky facts about Ice Age creatures along the way. And will we finally discover the mammoth's hiding spot? And grab your magnifying glass and join in the fun in this delightful adventure perfect for all explorers. Thanks, Hatchet, for the finished copy. Anjali Kurao, the brilliant mind behind the boy at the back of the class, is back with a magical hardback collection of seven extraordinary fables in Where Magic Grows, Unique Tales of Wonder and Enchantment, out on the 12th of October. Ever heard of the tale about a bird turned into stone? Or the super naughty boy with a frog in his throat? If not, you're in for a treat. Filled with vibrant, full-colour illustrations by Katarzyna Dosler, these are brimming with humour, heart and messages of hope. Thanks Hatchet for the finished copy. Kicked Out by Ayan Dasu out on the 19th of October is the sequel to a reward-winning debut, Boy Everywhere, in which we find Ali and Sammy living their dream, playing football for the school team and hanging out in their new friend Mark's new luxury pool but a storm brews in their peaceful paradise as their friend Adam is wrongly accused of theft, revealing the ugly face of racism. Can Ali and Sammy muster the strength to clear Adam's name, protect their friendship and rally against Adam's looming deportation? Thanks Old Barn Books for the finished copy. Are you ready for a mind-blowing adventure into the incredible world of the human body? Because that's what you'll get in a really short journey through the body out on the 19th of October as you uncover the secrets of your body, the magnificent vessel you call home. Prepare to be amazed as this book is bursting with mind-boggling facts, astonishing numbers like the multitude of microbes living within you, and illustrations that bring the magic of your body to life. Ever wondered why your skin is your body's largest organ, or how your brain can seemingly predict the future? And, did you know your eyes are inside out? Find out all the answers to these and more in this head-to-toe tour of the most incredible thing in the world, you. Thanks Puffin Books for the finished copy. How do you measure up against the most colossal or minuscule things in nature? Find out in Sizewise by Camilla de la Bodoya and Vasilisa Romanenko out on the 19th of October. From massive squid eyes the size of dinner plates to delicate pygmy butterflies no wider than a fingernail, this book reveals the secrets of size in this nature showdown. And this information is also paired with captivating illustrations about these incredible things. Size comparisons and extra facts, meaning this book will have you absolutely absorbed with everything little and large on our astonishing planet after reading it. Thanks Buster Bucks for the finished copy. Out on the 26th of October, The Big Dreaming by Michael Rosen and Daniel Igneus follows the delightful duo of Big Bear and Little Bear as they prepare for their long winter's nap. But Little Bear worries about running out of dreams during their big sleep. And join Little Bear on a grand adventure as one small bear sets off into the big wide world to find the dreams that will carry them through the cold season. Along the way he uncovers ones of happiness, homecoming and hope fill in his winter with warmth and joy. Thanks Bloomsbury for the finished copy. <laughs> Lastly, What You Need to Be Warm by Neil Gaiman out on the 26th of October is a beautiful children's book that takes us on a journey to discover the power of compassion and the importance of making others feel safe and welcomed. 
Inspired by Neil asking his Twitter followers what reminds you of warmth, and their responses being weaved by him into this poetic creation, we explore the idea of finding warmth and comfort even in the coldest of times, with the help of strangers and cherished memories. Stunning illustrations from global artists guide us through understanding displacement and the strength of helping those in need. Every copy of this book supports the UNHCR, an organisation dedicated to aid in forcibly displaced communities and stateless people across the world. Thanks Bloomsbury for the finished copy. So these are the books I'm most excited about reading this month. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel below. As always, keep reading and I'll see you in the next video.